Hey y'all, it's Farmer Mima, and today is Fit by 50 Friday, and I happen to be down 6.4 pounds from three days ago, and so today I'm going to share with you what I've done that has had such a drastic weight loss effect um, in such a short time, and I'm sure a lot of you probably know part of the answer. Um, before three days ago, I'd been allowing myself to eat a few things. Number one, I was giving myself permission to eat for my hormones, which included having white potatoes, which are not keto friendly and they're very high in carbs. And I was eating them on a regular basis. Um, well, once a day. And I was also allowing myself to eat healthy, whole grain, nut and seed, artisanal type bread because I got it on sale. 99 cents y'all for the most beautiful tasty whole grain nut and seed oat and all that bread beautiful bread it's healthy right i mean i see so many other people able to eat such things and they're skinny why can i not do it <sighs> because i can't it just it is what it is so i was also partaking in um, some sweet treats. I actually did it twice when um, my kids or grandkids would be participating in a sweet treat. I would partake as well. So there was some sugar on two occasions in the last couple of weeks. And that's all it takes for me to... <clears throat> and so here's what I've been doing. Here's what I've been eating. I've actually, if you watched my video on the pumpkin uh, dessert, crock pot dessert. Oh my goodness, y'all. It is so good for breakfast. Um, and I have that with like a whipped cream, cream cheese mixture. Um, I've not been, I've not given up my coffee. I've not given up, uh, uh, sweeteners, artificial sweeteners are pure. It's stevia and erythritol. Have not given up sweeteners. Um, I've basically just given up all the major carb groups. Um, and so, oh, I've also been doing a few other things. I've been taking cold showers, <laughs> which um, is apparently cold showers, our bodies have what's called white fat and we have brown fat. And brown fat is like fat burning machines and white fat is the fat that just wants to stay there and not go anywhere, which is mostly what kind of guy. Well, being exposed to cold, um, whether it's taking cold showers or walking outside, which I've been walking outside when it's like 45-ish degrees and I'll be wearing a tank top and shorts intentionally um, so that I'm being exposed to the cold. Because what that does is it causes, um, it activates brown fat and it can actually turn white fat into brown fat which then starts to burn, burn calories to keep your body temperature up. And so it's burning fat. And so, um, those are some other things that I've been doing that I think at least help contribute. Not only that y'all, but the exposure to cold and cold showers improves your immune system. It does boost your metabolism. Um, it improves mood y'all there is there is actual research people who take cold showers have less anxiety and less depression and i totally believe that if you watched the video the other day about the cold shower gone wrong i, I really believe that it does have a positive effect on our brain brain chemicals and all that good stuff um it also um it improves your circulation and it can have the opposite effect of hot showers so that can be a good thing let me see there was something else that maybe um oh of course less it reduces pain and it reduces inflammation so you guys um you know i preach all the time about inflammation is the root cause of 95 99 percent of all diseases and the less inflammation you can have in your body the better well the inflammation you know those things that i've been eating lately those things are classic causes of inflammation grains gluten sugar all that stuff 
And so I've been, by getting those things out of my diet, I'm reducing inflammation, which means that I'm getting rid of that extra weight. Um, inflammation causes just wear and tear on your joints. Um, and I'm getting rid of all of that. The cold showers also reduces inflammation. So it's just speeding up the process of getting rid of the inflammation. And so, yeah, you can reduce pain, reduce inflammation, turn your, your white fat into brown fat. So you become little fat burning machines. And so there's, there are really very few drawbacks to cold showers. Now, if you're already cold or if you're sick, it's not necessarily the best idea to take a cold shower. But if you're healthy, it's actually going to help boost your immune system. So anyway, enough about, have I preached enough about the cold showers lately? And still, I bet most of y'all are, are still thinking I'm crazy and still not even trying. You should try. I want to hear that you've tried it and you've either been surprised at how good you felt or how well you slept. I actually sleep really well also after, even though I'm like, oh, it increases alertness, it increases productivity, y'all. Um, but then you sleep like a rock. So it's it's got lots of benefits. And probably the improved sleep might be one of the other reasons that I've dropped some weight. I'll tell you, there's probably some hormonal issues going on that have allowed me to drop some weight as well. Um, but let me get back to what kinds of things I've been eating. I've had chili. And let me just say, our chili is a keto chili. The, the chili that we've always made has always had flour, like a slurry mixed in and added to it for thickening because you know we like that thick yummy rich chili and we've tried various keto friendly options over you know the past three years trying to find something that would replace the flour without giving any kind of weird taste or texture that actually worked and we have found mm, that adding flaxseed meal works perfectly it doesn't affect the flavor it doesn't affect the texture and it is so good and it works beautifully so i've had chili with flaxseed meal which is also it's very filling and it also is full of good stuff okay just omega-3s and all that stuff so those are basically the things that i've been eating i've had cheese um, I haven't had a lot of nuts as far as peanuts. I've had almonds because um, almond flour is what's used to make that uh, that cake, that pumpkin dessert that I made. So those are the main things. Did I mention, I don't know if I mentioned this yet, that, I, that I've not been watching The Rifleman. Let me just say in case I haven't mentioned it. I have not been watching The Rifleman. My husband... Is on a rifleman kick and he likes to watch the rifleman at night and so because we spend time together at night i end up watching the rifleman and i tell him every time he turns it on i'm like you know that's going to make my cortisol level go up right because y'all oh my goodness the rifleman there is always somebody's going to die somebody's going to get shot and mark the little boy is always involved somebody he's going to be in danger somebody's going to kidnap him or something and so yeah that show drives me nuts and every time I watch it my cortisol I know for a fact goes up and I've not been watching the rifleman lately not very often because we're almost to the end of, there's only like five episodes left and I think my husband doesn't want it to end and so he's going days without watching it he'll watch one here and one there instead of binge watching like he used to anyway and so yeah so my stress has been reduced exercise has um, and physical activity have gone up a little bit. Um, being exposed to the cold, taking cold showers, no bread, no sugar, no potatoes, and eating pretty basic foods. And that's it. That's how I've dropped 6.4 pounds in three days. And hopefully on Fit by 50 Friday next week, I'll be able to report more weight loss. I don't expect it to be as much because after all, 
this was a lot of inflammation and it will slow down because that's just what happens so anyway give us a thumbs up tell me down below um what are you doing today that's going to make you healthier tomorrow i love you guys and i'll talk to you soon bye y'all